Hey guys. Hey Tony. What's up? What's up, Mike? So, uh, I get questions, comments all the time from people on YouTube, off YouTube, in person, whatever, about why is the super so ugly? Why haven't I put any money or time into the body? Like, I do all this time and effort into the engine and fixing it and then fixing it again and again and again and again, but why don't I paint it? It looks like crap. And I'll tell you why. So, this, this is my moral of like, why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. So, this car is a drift missile, which I have not drifted yet, which I know offends a lot of people like their damn snowflakes. However, I don't put money into the body for a reason. Um, I obviously started on poor man mods where we were on a very limited budget. I was doing things on the cheap, had to stretch every little penny I could. And, you know, body work and making things look nice is very expensive. It, it, if it can be done cheap, it's usually not good. Um, and if this car has a high risk of hitting a wall, hitting a curb or whatever, there's no point in investing time or money into making it look good when I'm gonna wreck it. Some of you may have seen the video I did like a couple weeks ago of when I took the IS-300 out in the snow and drifted it, which I know that triggered a lot of people too. I drifted it in the snow and cracked into a, crashed into a curb and broke the front lip, which I knew the risks when going out. Um, I knew what could happen and I accepted them and wanted to have some fun and I broke the lip. I was able to put it back on though and I drove it for, I guess it's been two or three weeks now and the lip is no longer on. And so this is why we can't have nice things. Happened well, this goes back to the asshole in Ocean City. It does, actually. About two years ago, uh, some of you might remember, the IS-300 got hit and run. I was down at Cruise Week in Ocean City, and someone literally drove over the IS-300. I guess it was like a lifted Jeep or a lifted truck, but there were tire marks that went over the fender and over the headlight. And that destroyed the front bumper, broke the front headlight, broke the washer reservoir, and damaged the fender. So... I was able to fix everything, but I had to buy a new bumper, which took me like six months to do it, but I dropped like 300 bucks on a new bumper, painted it myself, repainted the lip, put it on, fixed all that. All said and done, I probably spent like four or $500 on that. Never quite right. On that repair. And it was never quite white, never, never quite right. That bumper was close, but it was not OEM. It was not an OEM bumper, um, so spent 500 bucks on getting it back to what it was, all right? Year, year and a half later, however, however long it's been, I crashed into the curb, broke the lip, put it back on, no problem, everything was hunky-dory, right? Well, two days ago, I came out of work and noticed the lip was no longer on the car. I don't know what happened to it. I do not know what happened to it. It is no longer attached to the car. Did you hear it go under the car? No, I don't know. I don't know. It's just gone. Someone could have stolen it. Someone could have stolen it. It could have somehow fallen off and me not have noticed, which I don't know how. Someone could have hit me and maybe it fell off and they like took it. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I, it's gone. That's all I know is that it's gone. The driver's side mounting tab where it bolts to the bumper is gone and it took some of the bumper with it. So my new bumper that I paid $300 for and painted it is broken again. The passenger side mounting tab for the lip is still attached to the bumper. I, I don't get it. It's gone. The lip is gone. The bumper's damaged. It do the bumper doesn't need replaced, but my end goal was to sell that car and I probably should get another $300 bumper and repaint it to make it perfect. So this is why we can't have nice things. There's no point, like I see almost no value in investing time and money into the looks of a car because it's pretty much like investing in a really cool target for a gun. You're gonna get a really nice target and you know it's gonna get shot and it's gonna turn out to be just a shot piece of paper. I know some people have different beliefs. Tony wants to paint his 240. I don't think it's the wisest choice because he's gonna paint the thing, make it look amazing, and a week later it's gonna be peppered from 695. And I know he's gonna cry and I'm gonna cry because all the paint that he just bought is now gone. I don't see any value. I could put a bra on the car. You could put a LeBra on it, or you could clear vinyl wrap it, which that's like another $2,000. Yeah, it's a lot of money. 
So for me to put time and effort into painting this car, I don't see any value in it. Like I'm, I'm also the kind of person where I don't give a shit. I don't care what you think about my car. I don't care if you think it looks nice. I don't care. So this car being ugly, I don't care if every single person in the world thinks it's ugly. I know the car is fun to drive, and when I'm inside the car, I can't see what it looks like. It doesn't matter. Sitting here, yes, I can see what it looks like. I've accepted the way that it looks, but when I'm in it, and when I'm thrashing in it, and hearing that sweet straight six cylinder symphony, I don't give a shit what it looks like, and neither does anyone else, because when I hear it, when I rev it up, they fucking shit their pants, and they don't care. When you hear that engine, it doesn't matter how it looks. Think of the children, it's so loud! When you go to a drift event, Sure, there are some super nice cars drifting it, but the majority don't look good, and that's for a reason. They're also six-figure cars, or close to it. But when you go to, like, a, an amateur or even, even a pro-amateur event, like, there's a lot of not nice-looking cars oh, there because... They're riding up. Yeah, like, what's, there's no point in it. And, you know, I used to take a lot of care of the center's body. My center was all black. I put a little bit of time and money into the body, and then over the years, I just gave less and less and less about it, because you're doing all this work to it, and every day you see another chip, another scratch, another chip, another scratch, and it's like, what is the point in me spending all this time into making the paint look good when every day there's less paint? <sighs> I get where people are coming from, sure, it'd be awesome if the car looked nice, but all that money and time spent making the car look nice. It's worthless when you crash it, or when you hit a curb, or when some fuck down in Ocean City runs you over and you don't even know what happened. So that's why the car looks the way it is. That's why we can't have nice things. And you know, like when I crash this car, it's going to happen. Um, chances are I can salvage the engine. I can salvage the transmission. I can salvage the drive shaft. I can take all that stuff and sell it. You can't salvage paint. You can never get that back. Hey, if you have a nice car, though, you can maintain it. If you have a newer car, if you want to buy a brand new STI, you absolutely should maintain yeah. it. Yeah. Well, Brad, Brad was smart when he did that. Brad, like, clear vinyl the whole front. So, like, right. it's nice and protected. My, my point is, with a car like yours, it's an 80... 88. 88. It's older than you are. And yeah. the body has not been maintained like that. So, now, if someone had since 88, like, regularly, annually polished or waxed the car and you received it like that... You should continue to do that if it looks good. But that car sat in a fucking field next to a goat. Yeah, for so 12 no, years. There's no point in putting that kind of time and effort into it. Yeah. Unless you're going for show car status. Like I did with the 86. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not going for show car status. I'm just for going and having fun. I don't care what people think. You know, when I'm driving the car, it doesn't matter how it looks. So, you know, just the story on the IS300, that's just, that's why we can't have nice things. I spent a couple hundred bucks. It's wasted. And fixing it, and it's completely wasted. All that time and money spent meant nothing anymore. So, Catch you next time. yeah, that's all I have for today. And I'll see you next time. Peace.